Coming to you from that once forgotten artery that pulses through the center of the continental United States and into the heart of the Ozarks, Grace Matthews. Looking in from the northern border, our Canadian friend, along with his countrymen, feeling the effects of U.S. political issues, Connor Murphy. Welcome to Dueling Dialogues, episode 196. I'm Connor Murphy, here with Grace Matthews and special guest for the third annual Talk and Turkey Show. Happy Thanksgiving, you two. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, hey, the hammer is back. <laughs> Good to have you. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. It's been too long. I have a special announcement today. Okay. The Hammer and I have been married for 32 years today. Wow, congrats, you two. Thank awesome. you, thank you. Yeah. That's terrific. Wow. That, that yeah, is. That's pretty long. Right. Anyway, we're going to talk about stupid people. Good. Stupid people that stay married too long. <laughs> <laughs> or stupid people that say how long they've been married so people figure out how old they are yeah exactly that's the biggest problem right yeah yeah okay there was a guy that posted a picture of his social security number i mean his social security card and his driver's license on the internet wow okay that's that's stupid for sure really Village idiot number one. Yeah, I, I I don't know why he would even think that was because a good he's idea. a village idiot. I mean, everybody knows how easy it is to steal your identity. Why would you put it out there for him to take it? You gotta wonder what he was on. Yeah, I don't know. That's basically just inviting, um, you know, a, a, a crime. Yeah, might well, as well just leave your front door wide open and leave for the and day. And I mean, say free. It's yeah. sort of like suicide. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of I weird. Mean, I mean, it's kind of a form of suicide. Digital suicide. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Um, you know, we all know that parents can be crazy or stupid. Right. Or uninformed, you know, and especially when they try to be cool. The guy said that he went to visit his elderly father, and his father was trying to explain all the different snacks he had bought him. And he said, I got you one of those guacamole balls. And he said, Dad, show me what a guacamole ball is. <laughs> it's an avocado. Oh, okay. A guacamole ball. Uh, you yeah, know, I love that, Dad. I guess that would be like password, you know, you trying to describe <laughs> it so they could get it, I guess. <laughs> oh, my guacamole ball. There yeah, you go. yeah, wow. and of course the United States, you know, things are always um, surfacing that we have done in the past that are stupid. Apparently in the 1950s, we needed to get rid of a nuke and we considered detonating it on the moon. Oh, okay. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Well, you know, it really scares me because, um, you know, do you really mess with you know, God's universe, even if you don't really believe in God, do you want to risk it? Yeah, yeah, what, uh, uh, there had to be some sort of bigger purpose, I guess. Exactly, I mean, you know, I'm not, you know, we know that it, ha that it has gravitational force that creates the tides in the ocean. I mean, do we even have any idea the true purpose of the moon? Right. Or, or will the nuke actually work on the moon? Ooh, that's a good question. Without gravity, what would happen? Yeah. Jeez, it might bounce right back at us. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what I think about that. It just sounds like a bunch of rednecks with too much money. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's shoot the moon. <laughs> yeah. I always thought the moon, when you shot the moon, you pulled down your pants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. So, talk about another stupid thing. I got an email the other day asking me um, to verify my name and address and all that personal information with the RNC. And if I did so, they would send me some Trump. Wrapping paper. <laughs> Who the hell wants Trump wrapping paper? No. I don't even want it for free. I would have verified 
Had they not said, we're going to send you some Trump wrapping paper. She said, I'll verify it if, if you won't send me the Trump wrapping paper. <laughs> Can no. you send mine elsewhere? I mean, what relative do you wrap their gift in Trump wrapping paper? If it's a gift for Nancy Pelosi, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. Or Chucky. Yeah. Chucky. Chucky. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. And I'm gonna let the hammer tell a great stupid person story. Okay. About the gym. Okay. I'm one of those guys that's gone to the same gym forever. I've been a member of like forty five years. Oh gosh, you get that's scary. Age scary. Away yeah. So I go out and work out and finish my thing. And I'm coming in the door to where, you know, the locker room where we change clothes. And who do I pass walking out but a chick? <laughs> okay. And so... Can we assume that you go to the men's? Yeah, I do go to the men's. Let me... Be well, these days, you got to ask. And so <laughs> I did a double take and I walk over to my locker and my, the buddy that's kind of a around my ear, I said, was that a chick? And he said, yep. <laughs> and I said, he goes, and she was showering next to me. <laughs> wow. Oh, really? So obviously she just did not make a wrong turn. Right. So I had, I had seen her come in because we basically have our same people there all the time. And so when a stranger's there, we all kind of recognize it, but I never saw where she went or anything. But this old country boy was a little shocked to see a chicky poo walk out of my locker room. Well, you know, you got to think about the ramifications. First of all, the gym can't do anything about it. No. They have to let her shower where she wants. And um, I guess it was obvious to some that... Um, her sexual preferences probably dictated where she wanted to shout. Wow. Now, trouble with this in the United States, and I know that up there in Canada, not everybody's suing everybody, but the first time a guy says the wrong thing, or, God forbid, his body reacts, <laughs> you know what's going to happen. Yeah, it She's sounds... to their pants off. Sounds... Well, their pants are already off. Yeah. But, yeah, mm -hmm. sounds like a trap to me. Yeah. yeah and she'll win. So it's it's scary and I, I think a lot of guys are gonna react. Besides, how do you just go home to your wife and say, I showered next to a chick today? Yeah. I don't think your wife's gonna care that she she prefers women over men. Yeah, I'm also shocked that a gym's been open that long. <laughs> Oh, we've changed hands. We've changed oh, hands. It's changed hands. It's teams and owners many times. But you're right. I and mean, that, that is kind of an anomaly that I hadn't thought about. Yeah. It's been a gym since I took gymnastics there when I was 10. Wow. So, uh, hmm. Location, anyway. location. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. So, okay. Now to the turkeys. We start off our turkey list with no, none other than Beto O'Rourke. We're not hearing much about him lately because he shot himself in the foot. Yeah, you don't hear too much from Beto anymore, that's for sure. Well, you know, we don't see him on TV jumping on top of tables everywhere he goes either, you know. <laughs> you know and we haven't seen him get his teeth cleaned. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, his that's, nose hair's cut. Yeah, that was, that was thrilling. That was... <laughs> Like, you know, he was doing decent at one time until he said he was going to come around and take everybody's guns away. You know, the people in the bubble have got to realize that Republicans and Democrats out in the middle of the country, you aren't going to come take their guns away. Yeah, uh, that was a fatal move. I would say that was his... Very his, fatal. The one, the one that, that took him down. That was the one. But for and, most of them, it's just a matter of time before they uh, some shit pops out of their mouth that makes them makes people yeah. realize that they're idiots. And you know, between elections, you kind of forget how easy it is for them to be on top one day. Yeah. And yeah. walking in the sewers the next. True. Because they have 
said the wrong thing, done the wrong thing. Look at Kamala Harris. I predicted she would be the front runner on the Democratic side. Right. Because she was the one Obama wanted most. And after all, he was the beloved head of the party. Right. She should have chose her enemies uh, a little better. She has screwed up and her last attack on Tulsi Gabbard that suggested that Tulsi Gabbard was an, um, a Russian. A Russian. <laughs> you know, she kind of went along with that. Hillary. I, I can't remember who first said it. Was it Hillary or Kamala? Regardless, when Kamala stood up on that stage at that debate and yeah. drove home that stupid point about her being a Russian agent, Kamala, Kamala did herself in. Yeah, she might as well just stepped in dog shit on the stage. Yeah. Stick much. a fork in her, she's done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I still haven't seen anybody that can uh, dethrone Trump, I don't think. I don't either, especially when you think about it in terms of the Electoral College versus the popular vote. Right. You know, when you go state by state, Trump's beaten the ward out of them. Now, when you go by popular vote, you just do a general, then then you somehow come out sometimes with, of all people, Joe Biden winning. And I think that's because they have such a bad choice. You know, right. they got 20 people that nobody wants. Yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, the, the, whole, uh, the whole ball of wax right there is that they don't really have anybody, I don't think, that could do it. Yeah, well, Uncle Joe is a gaffer, of course. Right. Um, he's... Creepy, has, Uncle Joe. He's creepy, and he's also a bit demented. He needs to go home and be Grandpa. I still think he reminds me of Uncle Joe on Petticoat Junction. <laughs> You're showing your age. <laughs> I know, but still, you know how he was always yeah. in trouble and always had these bad he ideas? Didn't quite and get it. Yeah, he just, he just didn't was always it. like, yeah, we, we ought to do Yeah, we can get the hotel. <laughs> what are we at? Yeah. Well, he has sunk so low with Democrats, which is what matters at this point that a third of the Democrats, after watching the impeachment hearings, want him and his son, Hunter, investigated for um, crimes right. well, related it, to the Ukraine and China. Yeah, pretty apparent that he's part of the deep swamp. He is part of the deep swamp, but I was also think he was, by design, Obama's fall guy. When Obama needed a mess and somebody might fall, he sent in Joe Biden. Yeah, and while you mention Obama, uh, I'm going to insert that he is probably Canada's biggest turkey of the year because he endorsed Justin Trudeau two two days before the election. And Obama had a lot of people uh, that liked him here in Canada. And uh, right, and a lot of people that loved him up there. D- despite the other turkey with the blackface, Justin Trudeau, um, you know, Justin Trudeau ended up coming out with a minority government, but. You know, uh, Absolutely. so there's the two biggest turkeys from Canada, and one of them's well, from and, uh, you guys. Thanks a lot for that. And Thanks. Obama <laughs> said yesterday, was it yesterday, that Joe Biden wouldn't cut it? Yeah, said couldn't cut it. Couldn't cut it. Right. Well, yeah, it doesn't, you don't have to be too bright, I don't think, to figure out that. No, no. but I think that suggests that Obama will never endorse Biden. Right. And there's probably good reasons for it. Oh, well, there's a team good reason. What about AOC? If we can't have a turkey talk without talking about AOC. Right. She's kind of dropped off the face of the earth in the last few months. Well, she is. She's not that interesting. But her and her cronies, that group of four, you know, AOC plus three, if the president calls them, three of them are being investigated for campaign finance violations. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> wow. I, I kind of like to, uh, you know, I'd like to refer to them as the Three Stooges. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. I mean, you got one of them marrying your brother. Yeah. Now, who married your brother? Oh, gosh. That's I, mean, that's I don't want to marry my brother, so yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah, and then get elected after. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wow. all I can say is, um, thank goodness I haven't eaten dinner yet. Yeah. 
Bob Mueller, what a disappointment. A $42 million disappointment. I love his expense account. Yeah, no kidding. He must have enjoyed it too. For he milked that sucker for he three did. years. He <laughs> milked that till the bitter end. Yeah. And then when he when he actually finally came out to give uh, some sort of testimony or assessment of what he had been doing for what a year and a half. Yeah. He seemed like he had dementia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he, there he, were people that said that was an act that he wasn't that bad. It looked like he was up for a week before that testimony. Yeah, he was like a three-day drunk, and after you wake up, and you're, you can't remember anything, and you don't care, and that's what he looked like. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Okay, speaking of people that ruined their own damn campaign, Pocahontas. Oh, yeah. Elizabeth Warren, her Medicare for All was getting attention until she brought out the budget. <laughs> People said, "Are you kidding me? Fifty-three trillion dollars!" Wow. Okay. And you know, and you know, if you're going to invite me to drink a beer with you, know how to open it. Know how to drink it. <laughs> Did you it. see how she held her lips? Yeah, she drunk. It was she creepy, and her husband had to leave the room. Yeah, he goes, "I don't want she any goes, part of this." Beer <laughs> with me? And he's like, no, no, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm not going down with this sinking ship. You know? oh, They've God. never drank a beer together in their lives. Yeah, too far. I guarantee you that's for the first time that beers touch those lips. Oh, my gosh. I drink more beers than her, and I ate beer, and I'm gluten-free. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of uh, Jane Fonda. Oh, yeah. Now, there's a turkey. 80-something-year-old woman. She just can't stand it when she gets out of the spotlight. She's got to do something crazy. So she moved to D.C. a few months ago so that on a Friday of every week, she could go out and protest the climate, climate okay. change policies of Trump's, and to the point that she gets arrested every Friday. And is that damn desperate? And taking orders from a 12-year-old Greta Thunberg. Yeah, oh, that I think we ought to ship Hanoi Jane to China and let her protest over there with the students. Yeah, Greta would uh, would do some good up there too. I think India, China. Yeah, yeah, you know put Greta on this list, except she's a child. You know, it, it's just because it doesn't matter what the United States does when you've got China and India. They are doing so until they stop. Nothing's ever going to change. Right. Right. As far as the climate goes, it's, it's horrible there. Yeah, you are correct. Absolutely. What about Robert De Niro? He's brought so much attention to himself hating on Trump, he's got himself in all sorts of legal trouble. Well, uh, it's funny how that works out. You know, karma's a bitch. You should it just is a bitch. stick to acting. Yeah, they're saying he's he's got people accusing him of sexual assault and employees claiming he is impossible to work for and abusive. I think he needs to uh, say that he's in concussion protocol because of all the hits to the head he took in Raging Bull. <laughs> Remember that movie? Yeah. Where he just got the P1 beat out of him when he was Jake LaMotta? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Megan McCain, she's got to be the biggest narcissist yeah. ever. Yeah. I mean, you know, the View has hired her as the Republican um, opinion, but you know, she hates everybody and everything. Pretty much, I mean, she's not Republican, Democrat, nothing. She's just the hater. Yeah, hates life. <laughs> she hates everything. She is. She's she's miserable. Yeah. She goes home at night and is not happy. No. How would you like to be her husband? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers to him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Another um, turkey, Shepard Smith. Can you imagine leaving the sweet $7 million a year job he had at Fox, and now his best prospect is about a $700,000 job, possibly, with CNN. 
because oh. that's about the average. No, that's more than the average. That's the best they pay. Yeah, what are you thinking? Yeah, he went from being the big kahuna where he could pick the stories he wanted to do when he wanted to do them. In the afternoon. Who gets that kind of gig? And yeah, and you're pay? off by six, you know, five, six o'clock. Right, right. And then if the big story comes in, if you want to go in and show your mug, you can. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't either. Seven mil. I, wow. Yeah. Okay, what about NBC, ABC, New York Times, their cover-ups, they continue, they have really created the narrative that got these these phony impeachment hearings going. Um, when are they going to be accountable? We have the same thing going on in Canada with CBC and CTV, among some other of the media that just are pushing the leftist agenda um, and spreading propaganda. And trying to erase uh, anything the right is doing. Yeah. And go ahead. The other night, they showed uh, excerpts from the news from all the, you know, lefties. And they've all got the same, uh, they must have the same memo from the, you know, Democratic Party. Everything's like, uh, you know, we've got a... a what was it? The constitutional uh, crisis. Crisis. crisis yeah. Then their next, their next night, it was a different, you know, uh, saying. But everybody point. was saying. Yes, yeah. but everybody says it, and they were showing different the news agencies from the different channel, and they're all doing it. That's what they opened their show with, with that bullet point. Yeah, there's like the word of the day. Yeah. Wow. So they kind of use the word, they kind of change the sentence, but the word is there. You know, but, you know, we've talked about it before. That is pretty much something that the Obamas brought to the table. And that is just say it over and over and over again. And if you say it enough, people will begin to believe it. Absolutely. And yeah. it worked at first. It's now kind of backfiring. Well, there's more propaganda that we're being bombarded with now than the Nazis created, I swear. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. It, it's it's awful. And, uh, you know, propaganda and downright lies. I mean, has anyone lied or misrepresented more than Lindsey Graham? Right. Yeah. I mean, he took over the Judiciary Committee. He was a big JAG lawyer. He made promises about, um, you know, looking into McCabe, um, Comey, and that whole group of FBI and CIA agents that went rogue. Yeah. And he did nothing. Absolutely nothing. He's nothing but talk. He's a put up. He well, because he needs he needs to shut up because he just puts up words, puts up he's going to do this and he's going to do that and he's got so and so and they're just about to do it but it just doesn't do it. Or maybe they found some good old dirt on him. Yeah, maybe so. I'm wondering. I am wondering if they did because he's made a lot of promises and I would have sworn. Him, of all people, would have done it. Right. Would have lived up to his promises or at least tried to. Nothing. I mean, not one thing he promised has he done. So, um, he's you know, a turkey. Deep, deep stage, he's definitely a turkey. Now, we got several royals that are turkeys this year, and I know you are not fond of the royal family, even though you pay for them. Right. I guess some way we do. <laughs> <laughs> up there in Canada, and you, and you might have a couple of them moving up there. But Prince William, God for forbid. having an affair while his wife was pregnant with the neighbor. Yeah, wow. Couldn't he just go a little further away? I don't get it. I mean, you'd have a play date, and, you know. It was easier to borrow a cup of sugar and do a little hanky-panky and, you know, do it, get it all taken care of at one place, I guess. I mean, look, I mean, he's got a pretty okay wife. Well, you know? yeah, yeah, I, I, it doesn't make sense. But, it uh, doesn't make sense. But I tell you what, Meghan Markle is ripping that family to pieces, you know. Every now and then, 
Well, I guess you might say that the Royals kind of go through cycles where they will be very unpopular and they'll all be in trouble and dirty. You know, they kind of went a while without any scandal, you know, since Diana's death. Right. Or the scandal was so minor, no one cared. And then Meghan Marco came along and split the brooks. You know, they don't even have their charity anymore. Right. And she's wanting them to move to Canada, up Please there, right there. Or South America, or South Africa. Well, that would be a much better choice. Just saying. But she's still going <laughs> to take the paycheck. She wants to split from the royal family, but is she still planning on getting the royal paycheck? Yeah, well, God forbid she returns to acting. Hey, oh, no, no, no. I was getting ready to say, we saw a Hallmark movie with her in it. There's a reason why she's an ex-actress. <laughs> Awful. Awful, awful. She's worse than, you know, uh, the lead in the senior play. I'm telling you, she's awful. <laughs> oh. But none of them measure up to Prince Andrew. Yeah. What a stupid idiot for doing the BBC interview. Yeah, he's, uh, you know. He uh, really exposed himself. Literally. Literally, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's time when Mama canceled his birthday party. When your Mama cancels your birthday party, you're up shit great. You know, that's worth some time out. <laughs> yeah. Now, if they cancel your birthday party, you're in deep shit. Yeah, yeah. He nope. let out so much information that the FBI wants to talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> no cake for and you. you know what got me. He's going he's to tattletale on Bill Clinton. Who oh. gave him his, his detail five times to fly on the Lolita Express with Jeffrey Epstein. Right. Well, there's a giant turkey for you. Yeah. Yeah. That's a turkey that's, that's going to be the gift that keeps on giving. There's going to be lots of leftovers. Yeah. Here. Oh, here's a good one. Here's one of my favorite. Katie Hill, the congressman, congresswoman, who had an affair with pretty much everybody that ever served on her staff. <laughs> <laughs> male, female, didn't matter to her. In fact, it started out with her and her husband having the, you know, menage a trois and, you know, group sex. And then, I guess she kissed someone a little too intimately, and he says, I'm done with this. Whoa. And he exposes her <laughs> to the world. And this woman doesn't like to wear clothes, we learned. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we saw a... Uh, deal on her on the internet where she's combing one of her intern's hair naked. Sitting on the sofa without panties now, on. Now how do you go yeah. up to someone and say, hey, I, I would, do you care if I brush your hair? Well, no, not really. It kind of feels good. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to be naked when I do it. <laughs> and I'm going to sit on the sofa. I can't get beyond that. And it wasn't even a leather sofa. It was a cloth one. Uh, yeah. Yuck! Yeah. yeah. Do yeah. not come over and sit on my sofa without underwear or panties. No, no. Oh. That's, that, that's out in our house. Yeah. 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 I'm a jerk for fair. And I bet okay. you they don't have any black lights in their house. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, think of the body fluids. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Yeah, that's uh, that's awesome to think about. <laughs> <That's pretty> gross. <laughs> like I said, thank goodness I haven't eaten dinner. Okay, what about Gavin Newsom? I mean, there's so many things to say. We don't have enough time, but let's let's narrow it down to him. Um, tell him about the NCAA. Oh yeah, you know how he thinks that the NCAA, uh, well, how the athletes should get paid. Right. You know, their likeness and stuff. You know, the NCAA has run that forever and should be in charge of it. Should yes, it's going to get to that happens. sometime, you know. But the only thing we could figure out is he wanted to pay them to clean up the tr streets and stuff. The bodily fluids. The body fluids, <laughs> the needles. And the... Katie's, Katie Hill is from there, you know. She's yeah. from California. She's probably left some around, too. Mopping up the plague. Yeah, 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 yeah. Needles, poopy, pee. Yeah, yes, yeah. You know, I mean, they need a diaper genie. Right. On yeah. every street corner. 
you know, we could go on and on about that guy. Yeah, and, and this made. is one of those climate guys that made his money from the oil industry. So, you know what I say? Stick it in your ear, Gavin Newsom. Yeah, well, there's that old double standard, you know. Uh, they're holier than we are, so uh, if you're on the left side of things, you can do whatever the hell you want. Exactly. Because it's okay. You know, and I just realized that our last four people are all from the great state of California. Ah. Our last four turkeys. Yeah. You know, how can you live in such a beautiful, awesome place and just win it? Yeah. How, how can they do this and be so turkey-like? Well, they're so much smarter than everyone. Right. right. We forgot Seth. about that. I mean, he's tried everything. And, and, you know, um, he, he believed in the Mueller report. There was Russian collusion, Russian collusion, and he knew it. He had secret evidence. Remember that? Right. And right. then now he's ran these impeachment hearings. Yes, there's impeachable offenses. We're going to show it. And Sunday on one of the Sunday talk shows, he said he didn't. Know if Trump should be impeached or not. Yeah, he has to talk it over with his colleagues. <laughs> so, in other words, I'm not going to go yeah. down with the ship, you know, even though I started all this. If I don't have the backing by everybody else where I can jump on the bandwagon, I'm out. All right. Well, it's becoming terribly unpopular because they don't have anything. Even if you don't like what the president did. It's hard to see it as an impeachable offense. Well, their supposed whistleblowers aren't such big whistleblowers because if you hear them start every sentence, it's, it's I feel this, I thought that, I felt this way. I heard. There's, there's no facts not, in there. Not well, that I was and, there. And if Nancy Pelosi, our top turkey, had not been such a turkey and put the impeachment on the table the day before the transcript was released, we wouldn't have any of this. Exactly. Because she never would have done it had she heard the call. Everybody believed at the time she had been privy to the call before it was released to the public. That wasn't true. It was just like when she said, we've got to pass the health care bill, health care bill to know what's in the health care bill. And why do we expect to get something different out of her and many of these people, we got to quit electing them in. Yeah. Listen up, California. Yeah, because you could actually take a turkey, put it in a dress, and feed it vodka, and boom, you got Nancy Pelosi. Yes, yes. <laughs> I hear it, yeah. we got to pass it before we can tell what's in it. <laughs> One of the greatest lines of all time. Yeah. Yeah, well, exactly. and I'll tell you something else that's getting old and super. All these newspapers and magazines suggesting that we eat a vegan turkey dinner. Yeah, you know? no. And and they use all these trees and paper to print <laughs> their bullshit. <laughs> and they want us to give up our turkeys. In fact, one yesterday I had this beautiful turkey, and I'm like, wait, cool. I learned it was made from macaroni and cheese. Oh. It was sculpted out of macaroni and cheese. Next year, you know, somebody like Golden Corral is going to, you know, serve impossible turkey. Right. <laughs> you know, but it, it's funny how this has been going on for several hundred years, and it has not changed uh, the environment or whatever. And, you know, I always thought it was about the the... Well, Getting together with want? family. Well, we pardon two turkeys a year. What do they want? Yeah. I they, mean, want it, they want the, the world to be overpopulated with turkeys? That's right. We can't have them turkeys running around <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> They're of the apes, except it'll be turkeys. We're trying to keep them all in California and Washington, but it just doesn't work out that like that. Yeah. <laughs> and in fact, if you want some recipes, go to Shenanigan Free Press. There's lots of recipes on there. Perfect, perfect. I don't get all this uh, Beyond Meat stuff. And it, if you're going to highly process food to make it taste like meat, for Christ's sake, eat meat! Yeah, exactly! Yes, yeah. eat the organic meat that doesn't have any of the hormones in it, and then you, you cure everything. Now, listen exactly. to this. A writer says, if you want to change your life 
Fry some raisins in butter. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> wow. I, you know what? I, I'm not sure. I don't that, know. That, that. I mean, if it's going to change my life for the better, I'll fry some raisins in butter and eat them. I know. Oh, wow. Okay. No. Just don't tell me it's got to be fake butter. How many vodkas do you have to have before you change it? It might be good in the vodka. Yeah, you know, yeah. they used to make a pie where you... You soaked like raisins in and, vodka, uh, yeah. Yeah, vodka. And I don't know what I had any aunt that was an alcoholic. I think she put alcohol in everything. I think she <laughs> soaked everything. You know what? Nothing we ever make since that woman died tastes the same as hers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Aunt B just poured booze in everything. I mean, even the dressing tasted like booze. Yeah. Okay? And everybody loved her dressing, so. Yeah, a sure. shot in there, a shot in me, you know. That <laughs> so, yeah. You know, I, I hope everyone has a fabulous Thanksgiving. You know, ask somebody out of the ordinary to come eat with you. You know, that's very special. We always ask a group of people um, that work at the workshop um, to come eat with us and um, you know it's, well I it's, can um, I can definitely special. agree there and you guys have a happy anniversary and a happy Thanksgiving too oh thank you all right, and Oliver says it. doggy doodle doo I love you alright Godspeed everyone Godspeed. yes bye bye, bye.